Welcome back to another Mickey and Mikey collaboration. Mikey and Mickey collaboration? Don't know. This time, we were thinking we would collaborate for a Halloween costume. Recording, can you record now? I think I'm recording now. Hi, little Mike. Hi, little Mike. We've got three <laughs> themes this time. So, let's, so we have, let me, let me type this in. Um, okay, ready? Ready. <laughs> so anticlimactic. <laughs> do you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Um, what does that even mean? <laughs> want to know what you <laughs> I want to know. Okay, yeah, I want to know what I'm getting first. Okay. Your options are a centaur, a cyclops, Medusa. Oh, Mickey. Or the goddess of love, Aphrodite slash Venus. <laughs> I really want to. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a cyclops. Sweet. Yes, that sounds so fun. That sounds like a good challenge. <laughs> I have also a centaur. We always end up doing one overlap. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. A gnome, a unicorn. <laughs> So a centaur with a horn. Um, or a merman. I've wanted to do a centaur for a long time. I'm gonna do the centaur. Yes, Mickey! Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, little Mike. Aww, I, I love, love you. you. Bye. Bye. Before we get into the creation and reveal of my costume, I'm gonna watch the reveal of Mikey's costume. And you can check out her video on the link below. <laughs> like I know how to put that in there. Head on over to Mikey Makes to see her costume for the collaboration. And here's me watching Mikey's video. JK, now we're ready. Uh, needed some headphones so that there's no spoiler alerts, but these are the only headphones I have that fit into a computer because stupid Apple and they're, oh, who needs an aux cord? I need an aux cord. That's a whole separate video. Let us begin. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> that is so freaky! Where are those beautiful teeth from? Wow! That eyeball! Yes! The dancing! Are those your hands? <laughs> those are your hands. Are they? Oh my god, that's so effed. Those aren't your hands. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I don't know if those are your hands or not. <laughs> they just, they're long, you know? Wow, that's freaky. Hats off to Mike. Uh, makeup runs in her blood, obviously. Wow, that's gonna give me nightmares. Bravo, bravo. I highly recommend you check out Mikey's video. It's very good, very freaky, really great mix of the freaky deaky with the fun quirky dancing, a really great combination. Check out Mikey's video and stay tuned for mine. I started to make it thinking I'm just gonna finish it in one night. It's the night before I'm supposed to send Mikey my costume reveal and I haven't started it yet. So I thought I would get started on that. What I've got so far, I'm thinking I'm going to use this box as the back of my horse body and drape it in a sheet for uh, the fur. So imagine this, imagine this. You have this nice box and then you got this fur and then <laughs> I feel like Homer Simpson designing Lisa's state costume. Hello Florida! <gasps> we're just gonna use a box cutter and then with our cardboards cut out we're just gonna put a couple pieces together like that and then another piece here to make the leg and then you got does that look like a horse leg? Trot, 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 trot. <laughs> it does, right? Just 
tape this piece to that piece at kind of an angle, right? This could work. It's not gonna work. Something like that. Where's that? Yeah. So picture this little horse walks by. Do, 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 do. It looks it looks like nothing right now, but just just you wait. The lower portion of the leg should be jointed, not taped. To make the joint, I'm gonna put a screw in through both pieces of cardboard. Nice, nice. So that. So I just cut a little hoof shape so that as the leg bends, there can be movement to the hoof. Giddy up! So now I've just draped a sheet, a fitted, an old fitted sheet over the box, and we're just gonna cut it and pin it to itself so that it can have a fabric layer. So I figured out a way to connect it to my body, but this will go like that. And then there's this leg here, and this leg is gonna walk. <laughs> How good is that? So I think we'll cover the legs in the fabric too. That's about all I can handle for tonight. It's time for bed. And then we both just never got around to making it. We took our sweet time, and then I took even longer. We have some progress here. It's been weeks, so I forgot to film some of it, but. Tying some fishing string onto the legs so that they can be pulled and my legs will pull it. <laughs> Beautiful wig, and I've just put a safety pin through the box to make a tail. And for the mane, we're just gonna work with what we got. We're on our way to film on location. Ah, yes, to be a horse. If you ever film yourself dressed as a horse in the park, just be warned, some people might think it's cool. One guy asked to take a picture of me. Other people might think you're a total weirdo. I overheard some guy telling some other people that, oh, watch out, there's some weird guy over there dressed like a horse. Which, sure, I was dressed like a horse, but Maybe it's a little weird, but I'm not that weird. But sorry, they don't have the same creativity and boldness to go out in the park dressed like a horse. So anyways, 